today's episode, I'll be reviewing the TF Canada landmine handle. So I'm really happy about this video because I've been using this handle quite a lot with myself and with my clients. This solves a lot of problems for my training. This is really good for people who train in commercial gyms, don't have access to certain pieces, especially for people who have garage gyms, home gyms, and they have very limited equipment. So you have so much variety with this piece and that's what we're gonna walk into right now. So if we look at the classic, the landmine roll, lat bias. It's a great exercise, okay? Most people are gonna grab it right here. And the reason why you wanna do this lift, the reason why I personally like this over dumbbell rows is because it overloads the lengthened position and then there's a drop off in weight as it gets higher, so you get that nice squeeze, so it's a favorable resistance profile for myself. This is okay, but the plates, they start to hit you, you know, like, it's not the end of the world on this one personally. It's more on the Meadows rows. But me personally, I actually like it more with this handle. I like to have the weights in back of me. I don't have to think about the weights hitting me as much because obviously they're in back. So all you do is just clip it right here. And this handle could go all the way to the end. So there's a high loading potential. You could put at least 150 pounds on this. And now from here, as you can see, the weight's in back of me. This feels way smoother. But there's other reasons why I like it, such as the fact that when you do a dumbbell row and you're just going with that chainsaw movement, it doesn't feel as natural because the landmine naturally goes into it, whereas the dumbbell, you have to actually go there yourself. So as you can see, it starts in front, and then as I row, it comes closer to me. Get a nice squeeze, but the plates aren't in the way. So I could go nice and high. If you want a little reach, like I do, I just put a yoga block here. And this feels amazing on my lats. Get a nice contraction. This actually feels like a machine. So I really like this for lats. It's one of my go-tos. My lats been getting great results from this. Now, as far as the medals rolls, you know, Rest in peace to John Meadows, he was a huge advocate of this exercise. One of the biggest critiques of the Meadows row was that the handle was just too fat and people have to use like um, straps to use the exercise. And if they don't use straps, it just feels like a fat grip. So it's like the TF handle addresses this because if I'm doing a Meadows row, I don't have to worry about this fat handle. I can get nice and set up. Really hammer my upper back. See, so I feel a greater contraction. Most of you guys probably won't even need straps on this variation just because of the nature of the thinness of the handle. So I really like this upper back for rear delts. And that's what I really like as far as pulling motions are concerned for the upper body. As far as pulling motions for the lower body, this is amazing for hinges. So for example, a lot of people will do single leg RDLs or like split stance. But once again, they're just grabbing this thick handle. It's not bad, but if you really want to up the loading, you don't want to have to think about your grip. I really like this handle, so. You guys a quick demo of it. Really load one hamstring at a time. Phenomenal posterior chain builder. So as far as the presses are concerned, this is where I really want to go into. It's the landmine press. So what I'm not crazy about the landmine press is that the handle is thick, which isn't the end of the world for a pressing motion, but it rotates, it spins. It makes it way more unstable than you want it to be. So you see this going on? From a muscle building standpoint, it becomes like a circus act for most people, especially if you lack stability. So, this is cool. It can still be done, don't get me wrong, but I really like it with this handle. You don't have to think about the rotation as much. You can just press it up and down. It feels like a Viking press with one hand, right? It feels very natural, you know? 
Get some alternation in, get some reaching in. Do like the push press. And that's pretty much it. So this is the TF handle for landmine training. I'm a huge advocate of it. I definitely approve. I rate this product a 10 out of 10, 100%. And I'm gonna put the link in the bio. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have already tried this product before, let me know in the comment section below your experience. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next episode.